This is problem number 31 from section 1.2 and in this section we're doing word problems. We're modeling with linear equations and this problem is an example of a mixture problem. Uh, these can be done with various methods. Linear equations is the method I'm going to use today but another method is to set up an equation with two variables and actually two equations and solve this system. Okay, mixture problems are sometimes also called solution problems and in science there's technically a difference between what is a mixture and what is a solution but I believe in math textbooks the words are kind of used interchangeably and that may be an error but I'm not going to dwell on that too much. So what we have here is this statement. Blow Glacer wishes to strengthen a mixture from 10% alcohol to 30% alcohol. How much pure alcohol should be added to the 7 liters of the 10% mixture? Okay, so typically we have a starting mixture or starting solution. So we have 7 liters of a 10% mixture is the starting mixture. And then we add something. So what are we adding? In this case, we're adding pure alcohol. What's the percent concentration of alcohol in that mixture? 100%. And what are we going to end up with? We're going to end up with a 30% alcohol solution. So it's good to identify what you're starting with, what you're adding, and what your final mixture is. And sometimes before we begin, it's even possible to think through a reasonable answer or a range of reasonable answers before we actually do the algebra. So I'm going to kind of think through this with logic first. Okay, so if I'm starting with a 10% alcohol mixture, And I'm combining that with a 100% alcohol mixture. And my goal is to end up with a 30% alcohol mixture. What I notice with this little visual is that my final mixture is much more, um, much closer to the 10% side than it is to the 100% side. So it's leaning much closer to the 10% amount than the 100 percent amount which tells me that I'm probably going to have a lot more of the 10 percent amount and less of the 100 percent amount so that when they combine I get a 30 percent mixture. So it's not going to be seven liters here and seven liters there. It's seven liters here. It's going to be far less than that of the pure alcohol. So I don't know one, two, three or some fraction of a liter uh, so that's kind of my thinking it through before I actually do the algebra. Okay. Now let's set up the equation. So we're going to take our starting amount of alcohol. Not the starting amount of the mixture, but the starting amount of alcohol and add that to the added amount of alcohol and that should give us the final amount of alcohol in liters. What's the starting amount of alcohol? We're starting with 7 liters, but only 10% of that is alcohol. So we take 10% times 7. That would be 0.7. So 0.7 liters of the starting mixture is actually alcohol. What are we adding? We're adding pure alcohol. Pure alcohol is 100% alcohol. So the percent change to a decimal here is 1. How much are we adding? we don't know so that could be our x or some other variable and what are we going to end up with the final percent 
30%, so that would be 0.3, times the final um, amount of liters. We started with 7 liters of solution. We added x liters of solution, so the final amount of solution is 7 plus x. That's the equation we're going to solve. Okay, so we have 0.7 plus 1x equals, distribute the 0 0.3, 2.1 plus 0.3x. Subtract 0.3x from both sides. We have 0.7 plus 0.7x equals 2.1. Subtract 0.7 from both sides. We have 0.7x equals 1.4 and divide both sides by 0.7, and we have x equals 2. What does x represent? The number of liters of pure alcohol to add to the original mixture. Does that seem reasonable? Well, if we go back to our logic at the beginning, we said we would have more of the 10% solution and less of the 100% solution. So if we have 7 liters over here and 2 liters over here, that does make sense. And then for an algebraic check, you can plug the number 2 back in for x. And we have 0 0.7 plus 2 on one side of the equation and 0.3 times 7 plus 2 on the other side of the equation. So we have 2.7 equals 0.3 times 9. That's also 2.7. Okay, so it checks. So then, to complete the problem, we should answer more as a statement. So what was the question? Let's make sure we are answering the question. How much pure alcohol should be added? So we'll say... Add 2 liters of pure alcohol. There we go.